This last video will talk about how to add your own AI to the spawn system. If you do not want to build off the example AI that's provided here, but you want to say, for example, implement the AI that you already made um, into the system, then it's going to be a bit more work. So that's why I made this video. Uh, for this video, I'm going to make a new master class and a new roaming child class to showcase what I would do if in, uh, in case I need to add my own AI. So we're going to start off by new tutorial AI full caps extra drama uh, make a new character GP master AI tutorial inside here just really quickly mannequin uh, person now it's important that um, if you want to have editable variables that you try to put them in here so for this max walk speed is one I want to use and instance editable and roaming radius now these will make sense later but it's important you put these here because you need the spawn points to communicate this to the AI because usually you drag it in right and you have oh I can now change max walk speed and roaming and I can make all these different settings for all these all these different AIs and because you don't drag in these classes but you drag in the spawn points it's a bit more complicated but hey everything for the higher performance right so we'll create a child blueprint and this is really important because you are going to assign a master class later and then all the spawn points can uh, select anything any child from that master class but uh, you, you you if you all set up all different master classes you need all different spawn points and you're just going to be in your own way now this is going to be a ro roaming child worst naming conventions ever it's, i can't live with this i'm gonna do vpc and then roaming so that's better and just really quickly gonna set things up and the event graph we don't have anything on those so add custom event uh, location to walk to So we'll do AI move to pawn is self just demonstration purposes random reachable point in radius origin we'll make that a variable we'll call this spawn origin so in this case he will walk to a location he will always walk to a location close to where he spawns so he won't just keep on going further away from home he will always uh, go to a location that's close to where he began now of course it doesn't matter how you want to do this you can set this up however now we set a variable for this a roaming radius so this is how far from home can we go and by default 500 units now the next part is a delay and that will happen on fail or success random reach uh, random <laughs> random float in range so it's a bit dynamic you can stop somewhere of course you can make these variables as well but for this demo purposes I'll keep it simple find location to walk to after we're done he's just gonna find a new location that's it very simple AI that's all it does but there will be some randomization to it max walk speed for example we'll set here delay uh, to like 0.2 seconds before 0.1 should be fine too for setting the set max walk speed to our max walk speed and there we have it now we can set different walk speeds for different AI one last thing I want to do here is uh, auto possess AI placed in world or spawned I'm not sure if that's necessary but I remember doing that for the original so basically we're done here and we're gonna go to spawn blueprints spawn system spawn location so what do we have here spawn struct so under structs 
we have SD spawn AI. Now we're gonna need to make some changes in here. This is where you um, add some of the variables. You can. What I did was make more structs. So this is where you could put on all the information for stationary or location information. Uh, randomization. We're not gonna do use that now. Amount to spawn, of course, is still valid. Zombie is not valid. We don't need that. Master AI tutorial class reference, and now this allows us to click uh, this master or any of its children. So by default, we're going to do roaming. And what were these other two variables that we set? One was for max walk speed, and the other one was for roaming radius. These were both floats. So we set those, because that's the default value. And now we can go in here. We click compile. All hell broke loose because we're now using completely different AI. So we're dealing with different information. We're just going to delete some things. Do we need stationary AI? No. Do we need path AI? No. It leaves us with one AI, which is also named roaming AI, which is perfect use that this is now not used anymore this is not used this is not used this is not used is this still important yes we still only need to spawn if there's more than one is a big group still important yeah this is another optimization thing in case you're spawning a really big group you need to do it in steps otherwise you get lag and you don't want that so we keep we're keeping this uh, this is still fine Spawn big groups still fine. Sp we need to replace this. Sometimes it doesn't want to listen. So we have to go to the spawn class. That fixed the issue here. This is all fine. We're spawning the right class. Set variables. Now here, this is where we set the variables. So because none of this applies anymore, delete. We cast to master tutorial. And here we set set max one. This is where you uh, set the variables in the class. Now what you could do as well is uh, set them as uh, exposed on spawn. This might be even a better way of doing things because if you do that exposed on spawn, you'll see that it will show up. But it doesn't. Oh, okay. It probably doesn't uh, doesn't understand that it has to that it's casting to that class yet. Okay, I said nothing. Uh, Max box speed. Radius. What did we call it? Set roaming radius. Hook that into here. Now we need to connect these, max walk speed, roaming radius, there we go. So now the spawning is taken care of, which is nice. Next up, uh, despawn. Well, they can't be warned, so we don't have to worry about any of that. So we can delete all of this, they cannot be warned, so... If they despawn, they despawn. Destroy Hector. And there we go. It's always going to be valid. This this is not really required anymore either. This is to destroy the spawn point. If all the AI died, they can't die. So we can delete it. And then the last thing is spawn a big group. Basically have to do the same as we did before. So hook up max box speeds roaming radius, hook up AI to spawn, and delete all of these. And that is that. We'll still have some issues. Uh, randomization, same thing. Let's disconnect everything, hook up. We're not doing this, but uh, we don't want the compile errors. And there we go. Now it should work. So basically, <laughs> we're left with a very uh, bare-bones system, but 
that we can now add our own variables for our new master class and all of its children uh, rather as keeping the rest intact all the logic taking care of the the thinking BC roaming yeah let's drag drag something in spawn location uh, we need an F mesh of course so an F mesh bounce volume Boing. what do we want to spawn we will want to spawn the roaming we will want to spawn 7 max walk speed is fine uh, let's do max walk speed 50 and we'll spawn six more. We'll do four, four, and we'll do max walk speed 500. So we'll have some that are really fast and can go really far, far further, and some that are really slow. So we spawn. Here you go. See a few really fast ones, a few really slow ones, and that's how you get to edit those uh, variables. Now, if we play properly. Third person game mode. Wait, where are they? Where's the spawn points? There. Okay. So. Yep, there they go. Here they are. They spawned. Now, if we leave and wait, they despawn. Now, when we go back, they spawn. When we leave, they spawn. So yeah, it's a very nice way of uh, uh, adding your own AI. Now something you can also keep in mind is say walk speed is just, you can say that this is a poor example, right? You don't have to change that on uh, sp in the spawn location. You can also just stick to changing that in children. So you set up different children with different walk speeds. They don't need to do it in the spawn location. You can completely remove it from the struct, and from the spawn location, you can just do it in all the children. It's whatever you prefer. It's just something that you have to keep in mind. So the, the most important things when making your own AI is that make sure you, they all derive from one BPAI master. Make sure that you put uh, most of the variables that you want to have in the spawn location in the master as well because you're costing to that and otherwise just stick to making a lot of different children which is the right way to do it anyway I hope this was clear if not please let me know and uh, good luck with your projects